sold uh, on on the country. Um, I, I, I think it, uh, the fact that Costa Rica, which is one of the closest uh, 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 governments in the continent, has taken this position reveals in itself the magnitude of rejection that uh, this operation uh, has had, uh, especially in our continent. Uh, um, it, it, there, there is a fact to it that uh, why was it covered? If it is something legal, why does it have to be covered? If it is something not condemnable, why does it have to be covered? Why do you have to use shell companies, uh, secret account, uh, bank accounts in other countries to channel the money? So uh, I think when people take a position uh, against something like this, they are recognizing the illegality of something uh, that, uh, as a matter of fact, nobody can accept. I, I wonder what will happen if the Cuban ambassador in the U.S. or the Cuban embassy carries out something like this in the U.S. And we would have some things to say. It's not that we wouldn't have things to say.ชอบมั้ยภรรยาหุ่นนุ่นๆแบบนี้อ่ะไม่อ่ะแล้วหุ่นตุ้ยนุ้ยแบบนี้ล่ะไม่หุ่นสวยเป๊ะแซ่บเว
and uh, they were uh, in the process of organizing these uh, half a million Cubans by age, by sex, by political affiliation, so that uh, they would uh, start uh, a work, the work of subversion with whomever was defined. Uh, uh, the thing is that um, we have a lot of difficulties in Cuba with the uh, accessibility uh, to internet because the bandwidth assigned to Cuba is, is very constrained. Anybody who goes here to Cuba or if anybody has been here to Cuba would realize that you go into any ho the most sophisticated hotel in Cuba, you go to internet and it will last a lot of time to connect. And it is not because of us, it's because of this. As a matter of fact, Cuba was allowed only in 1996 to connect to the world when everybody was connecting. Uh, so this is something that uh, people don't know. In this particular case, there was an overloading with uh, the uh, sending of uh, messages and messages to users who uh, many of them didn't want that because even uh, uh, they were overloading their, their cell phones. They were, they, they were sometimes uh, voice messages, uh, 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 voice messaging was being used also and people had to pay for that without consent. There were protests by people. Uh, so this is a, a particular uh, uh, effect that it had, apart from the uh, political uh, connotation of um, the whole program, which is the worst thing, because as I said before, uh, uh, whatever we do in our country, good or bad, Right or wrong is for the Cubans to change that, no, no, not for any other country, be it big or small, to come and change. Because if that's going to be the norm, imagine uh, how this world would be. But it did affect, it does affect, it continues to affect because all these programs continue to uh, affect, for example, this pyramid uh, program, Pyramideo. Uh, it, it, it pretends or it works on the creation of a red of, red of, uh, web of friends that uh, 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 w use a massive SMS on a pyramid of, of contacts. That's, that's why it's called, pi uh, in Spanish we say piramideo, in, a, in English would be something like pyramidio or something like that. So, uh, uh, all this creates uh, a big problem for communications in Cuba. I can even exemplify, we were on holidays last time in Cuba, and uh, we were at a hotel, and the, in Cuba there are lots of Canadians. As this is just an incident uh, event, incidental event. There, were, there is a lot of Canadian tourists in Cuba, and one of them got so angry with the internet, uh, the, the cafe where he was that he threw the computer on the floors and then we we didn't have because I um, mean it was bad it's not that to justif justify the the action but it's just to simplify how many difficulties we have and they have been open because uh, they have been open uh, more because they they have been seen as a channel for subversion only only when they have been um, uh, gouged as uh, as a channel for subversion, uh, they have been more used. Mm, the bandwidth have been slightly increased, but still a lot of res restrictions. Yes. Okay, I can hear you. Okay, hello. Okay, my name is Patty. I'm from MCOT, Ten News Agency. So when you say, um, His Excellency, when you say that uh, the Cuban government called upon the U.S. government to stop violating international law, 
um, I, I would like to know how far do you do you wish to see? Like, um, for example, do you just wish to uh, the U.S. to stop Sunsio project, or do you want them to like go further? Like, how far? Like, what kind of reaction you do you want to see from the U.S. M, uh, M, uh, the U.S. government in order to maintain the current relation with Cuba? Thank you. Well, uh, uh, if I uh, caught correctly the objective of your question, uh, I think uh, uh, this type of program, be it against Cuba or any other uh, country, uh, is objectionable and should not be there. Because if you slap my face, you are putting yourself in a position that I can slap yours in uh, legal terms or at least in practical terms, if not legal, practical terms. So uh, I, I don't see why somebody uh, should be doing that and why uh, anybody has to accept that somebody does it because, as I said, it's illegal uh, even in the legislation of all countries. In the le legislation, if you take... Um, uh, I, I don't think uh, U.S. Uh, legislation is against that, uh, Cuba's legislation, um, Thai legislation. If you take the Constitution of Thailand, and there is Article, I think, 56, I think Article 56 or something uh, expressively deals with this issue. That is, nobody can allow that. In a, uh, a hearing in the Senate, on this case already on April 8th, in which uh, the uh, chairman of the subcommittee uh, concerned with these aspects, uh, that is foreign operations, called the chief of the USAID uh, agency uh, for clarifications on this problem, and this very same senator, chairman of this subcommittee, uh, term the program dumb, dumb, dumb. That's I quote. That's the way he 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 consider the program. It's a dumb, dumb, dumb program. Uh, so uh, what I I think if uh, if I am to answer your question, I would uh, just say yes. I would like um, the U.S. to stop uh, uh, carrying out these programs. Uh, and engage with uh, Cuban in a uh, civilized, decent uh, negotiation of everything. Cuba has stated uh, many times during the latest three, four years that we are ready to negotiate and discuss each and every thing. You are absolutely correct that spying against Cuba is not a uh, news because, as you rightly said, um, um, Snowden and uh, the one before, the Australian? Julian Assange. Assange. Assange have uh, uh, revealed details enough of that. Um, Believe it or not, in spite of the bad propaganda that Cuba receives uh, more often than not for the last half a century, uh, we have a lot of people who sympathize with us in Europe itself. And uh, I can tell you that there are lots of, uh, if you go into any web page or Facebook or blog uh, of in Cuba, there are lots of people 